One of the important developments that have happened here since last one week is the truce on the LOC. This despite last year we saw more than 5,000 ceasefire violations. This time around, both the DGMOs have agreed to hold fire. Do you think this is going to take, sir? I think it's a good question to start with. Um, the agreement that has been arrived at between the Director General Military Operations of uh, India and Pakistan, I think it's a step, uh, um, a step in the right direction. Uh, I have reason to believe that this has the potential uh, to bring in some peace and stability in the area. I think the big uh, advantage that is likely to accrue is to the local population which is living along the borders. You know, they are going to see some respite. You are aware in the last few ceasefire violations that have taken place, a lot of civilian casualties have been there. And uh, I'm also of the opinion that uh, this, will may, this may have some impact on uh, the management of infiltration also. And if the ceasefire, you know, it, it starts working on the borders, will it bring down the graph of militancy down here in the valley in the hinterland? Yes, I think uh, peace in the valley uh, will be a second order effect, if I can call. You know, uh, if there is peace on the LC, we will have immediate beneficiaries of the, you know, the civilians who are living on the LC. Uh, and if we are able to prevent infiltration, if the foreign terrorists do not come inside and if we are able to block them, uh, it will automatically have some um, impact on uh, the situation in the hinterland. And I must uh, say with some um, conviction that today uh, we are able to manage violence level substantially within the valley. The number of terrorists in the valley are probably the lowest in the last one decade. And uh, we would like to keep it that way so that uh, the people in the valley are able to uh, you know, uh, have some respite. You are aware that we had the COVID situation in the last mm -hmm. one year. It had its impact on uh, tourism. It had its impact on the educational sector, and now if we are able to ensure um, uh, lower levels of violence, um, I think it will all uh, bode well uh, for the people of Valley.